and 
with 
so many people sit in tables designated for reservations and then get mad 
easy to do that, but you have your signal on, and as soon as the spot comes available for you to go ahead and get in the other lane, the guy behind you goes before you can. That drives me nuts. From Zara, when people assume that I am pregnant, just when I am back from vacation and am bloated. Whoa. Nobody should ever ask a woman if she is pregnant based on the way she looks. Nope. Don't do that. From Witching Brew. Not taking time to Google something especially for a video. It takes two seconds to do so and you get your answer. Recently found an ASMR video from Michael's Craft Store walkthrough for Halloween. The ASMR is a brush off Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise they found and didn't bother to Google it. Acted like they didn't know who the lead character was and was like, whatever. It got me out of the ASMR illusion and I had to... I know if someone did that for Snoopy for Christmas season, people would be slightly annoyed too. These franchise characters are now at the point he's recognized. Google it. Well, I get it that that could be annoying, but if you're in the middle of a walkthrough, you're probably using your phone to video it, and you cannot stop and Google something, so that could be why. From Goonie, when people walk into the kitchen when I'm in the kitchen, it's so petty, but I hate it. You like your own space. I get it. From Gail, my pet peeves are the phone constantly ringing and dripping water. I also hate people invading my personal space when there is space available. Yeah, like if you sit down in a seat, like in a waiting room, and someone sits like right next to you for no reason when there's other seats available, that is invading your personal space for no reason. I hate that. I'm always afraid that people will think I'm doing that at the gym though, because there are certain machines that I like. And if the machine that I like is right next to somebody, I'm gonna go on it. Even if there's ten empty ones right next to him, you know? From Jerry Man. As a jewelry clerk, when waiting on a customer and they answer their phone and start talking. Yeah, that is super rude to do in a store, like when you're being helped. Don't do that. Molly Moon Boots. People who don't say thank you lack manners. Like, how hard is it to simply say please and thank you to people helping you out? It's just so rude to me. Yeah, like we said before, basic manners are so easy to do. Just do it. From RVT88. Mine is when people don't clean up after themselves and or when men floor and don't clean it. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. That is disgusting. From Alana. When my husband leaves for work but doesn't take the full bin of garbage when he goes. In my house, we take out the garbage after dinner every night. Because if you leave it overnight, it will stink. And we do not want to deal with that, so it's kind of a ritual. And the way it generally works is I pull out the garbage, tie it up, put in a new bag, put the bag by the door, and then he takes it out like a couple minutes later. That's how we do it. Luckily, we have a system. From Just Tay. My biggest pet peeve are people who think they are better than you. Like when you give them a compliment, they will give you a stank eye. Honey, 
twice as hard as just walking up the stairs. I can't. 
some 